Well, June is Pride Month when the world's LGBTQ communities come together to celebrate. Here in the Midlands, organizations continue to work to promote equality. News 19's Eleanor Tabone has the story. I knew I was gay in the second grade. I had my first crush in the second grade. Dylan Gunnels came out when he was 22. Coming from a small town in a conservative household and really fighting the social construct that was related to it. He says he was discriminated against. When I made the decision to come out and be true to who I am, uh, I had to leave that church. A man of faith, he says his choice to express himself ostracized him. I am fighting a battle that's unique and different uh, for many people because I'm fighting to be in faith spaces that don't necessarily welcome me for exactly who I am. June is Pride Month, a time for those in the LGBTQ plus community to celebrate their identity and commemorate the 1969 Stonewall Uprising in New York City that's considered a landmark moment in gay rights. For Dylan, this month is about visibility. It is a collective celebration, but for me, uh, it's a deeper reminder to the community at large that, hey, um, we need to be celebrated every month of every year. I think the biggest call to action is just to use our voices for the right reason and to stand up for one another and realize that these people that are being hurt the most are some of the most vulnerable people in our, our society. Kim Adoza Bird from the Harriet Hancock Center says South Carolina United for Justice and Equality, a nonprofit which focuses on ensuring equality for LGBTQ people, is pushing for changes at a legislative level. We've got to stop attacking our trans kids. We have to. It, it's ridiculous. There is so much anti-LGBTQ legislation. My slogan is be proud today and every day. Jeff March from SC Pride started the Brave the Rainbow campaign, which aims to showcase Midlands businesses support for the LGBTQ community, selling these rainbow banners for business owners to put in their windows. For my community, it's just a nice to know that we are recognized. He says before people judge, or make a remark. He says it's important to form relationships with those in the LGBTQ community to understand how they feel and what they're going through. We have a lot of work to do uh, on all aspects of LGBT existence. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19, WLTX. Very still ahead tonight, trash.